Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and Afria is fighting back on these allegations made by the short sellers. You can see that Afria went all the way down this morning. Ridiculous. Pre market, it was just down, 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 down to $5.23 in Canada, and it bounced back up, went back up to as high as $6.46, and now it's come back down just under $6. It's slightly red, but the big news is here it is. Afria Dealmaker SOL Global hits back at short seller report. Let's take a look at what this news says. SOL Global, which was the company that was being under attack by the short sellers, saying that Afria acquired this company and paid way too much for a company that has zero value. SOL Global Investments Corp, COL.CD, is defending its recent sale of cannabis assets to Afria Inc and says it will pursue all available legal relief in the wake of a critical report prepared by short sellers about the Canadian pot producer's recent transactions in Latin America. Hindenburg Research and Quintessential Capital Management, QCM, released a report Monday that alleged Leamington, Ontario-based Afria acquired foreign companies in Jamaica, Argentina, Colombia from SOL at vastly inflated prices in a transaction the short sellers claim benefited a group of insiders. Both QCM and Hinderberg have taken short positions in Afria. So I want to remind you guys that both QCM and Hinderberg are profiting from this attack on Afria. Okay. Quintessential Capital Management and Hinderberg Research are financially invested in destroying the stock prices of SOL Global and other cannabis companies by publicizing false and or purposely misleading information to apply negative pressure to stock prices, said Brady Cobb, SOL Global CEO, in a release on Wednesday. Wow, that's pretty big. Let's hear again what he's saying. SOL Global and other cannabis companies are being hurt by Hinderberg Research and Hinderberg Research and Quintessential Capital Management are financially invested in destroying the stock prices of SOL Global and other cannabis companies by publicizing false and or purposely misleading information, but yet everybody listens to them without even having a court hearing. This is crazy. Our company will not engage in a back and forth with these bad faith actors at this time. So they are now going to go in on these short sellers. Cobb also said the firm plans to pursue all available legal relief against parties that have manipulated SOL global stock price via false and or misleading information. Afri has denied that the company and SOL, SOL are sister companies as alleged by quintessential founder Gabriel Grego. It is issued a statement on Tuesday stating the company in, unequivocally stands behind the company's Latin American operations and described the report's allegations as malicious and self-serving attempt to profit, which clearly it is, with misrepresentations and distortions about its business. Afria CEO Vic Neufeld wasn't immediately available for comment Shares of the pop producer were up more than 3% at $6.15 on the Toronto Stock Exchange as of 9.50 a.m. Eastern Wednesday. It has declined more than 40% since the short seller report was released on Monday. What do you think about this news? Clearly, Afria is under attack. Is it true? Is it not true? It is a war in the markets. This is affecting the entire cannabis sector badly. And you can see how this has really affected Afria. I mean, it has fallen off a cliff. Since this report has come out, the stock has gone down from over $10 to now under $6 in merely two and a bit trading days. So please, guys, let me know what you think about this news. Do you think that Afria is doing the right thing by fighting back? Do you think this is enough? Clearly, it's not. The market is not responding very well to this news yet. We are down again 1.84%. So clearly the market, the street does not feel like Afri is doing enough. Do you think they're doing enough? Smash the like button. Comment down below. Share the video everywhere. We are literally at war in the cannabis sector. 
Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. The market is very volatile, a lot of highs, a lot of lows. Look at all the breaking news. Get all the top stock tools we use every single day. Learn about the CBD space, cryptocurrency. Follow your boy every single day, absolutely free. We don't want your money. We want your eyes and ears on the prize. Yes, we are at war in the cannabis sector. Is it a buying opportunity? You think this is going to go lower? Be very careful. We are at war. It's true. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy, Rich. Bring you the news. Afria, deal maker, SOL Global, hits back at short seller report, but is it enough? Let me know what you think. This is your boy Rich, and I'm out. Peace.